think it's streaming now. Sorry I'm late, like almost half an hour. Um, don't want to get into details. Uh, today I'm trying something I haven't done in a while, but I figured it'd be fun since the new the new update should add could completely change uh, world seeds. Um, I know you can. I remember back in the day when I did play on Java, you could make a world that was entirely desert. I don't remember if I can do that in Bedrock, but I'm going to try. Um, if you read the title, you might be able to guess how exactly this is going to go down. Uh, create new world. Let's see. If I die, it doesn't matter. If I die, that's the end of the game. Oh, I think they're referring to the temple. The way that they'd call it a mansion. Pink forest, not what I want. Those are what I see right there. Village, I need to go in that area again. Hmm. Huge desert. Okay, this looks like it might only have one village. So I'm gonna try this seed and see. It looks like it might be a little outdated, but if that is the case, 
then whatever. Let's see, I'm gonna go back down, turn off that custom biomes thing. So we have caves and cliffs, we have type infinite, there's the seed. Let's hope this is still a massive desert. If not, I guess I'll just start off by heading in a direction until I come upon a massive desert to start the game. Uh, technically, the starting chest makes things a bit easier, but you don't need to have it if you want to try the hardcore desert survival. Uh, you get sticks from dead bush. Wood can be found in either mine shafts or, if you're lucky, a village. Although desert villages don't have as much wood, I don't think. So you might spend a large amount of time uh, being through just straight up rock until you come upon a mine shaft. This is not an easy way to play. Okay, well I see a desert. Where's my bonus chest? Okay, something I've noticed is that with the new Caves and Cliffs update, for some reason, sometimes I don't get the starter chest. Ah, uh, there's a village over there. You don't start with a starter chest. And by opening the map, it's now worthless because I think that down, that it's, uh, wait, never mind. Strange, it's not as bad. I guess I'll have to head to the village. Um, I hope it's just one village, not too many temples. I will take advantage of it since it's there. On my way to the village, I should probably grab some sticks. Um, yeah. This is... It's been a while since I've done this. At least a few updates have happened since I've done a this kind of. What's with all the uh, what's with all the spider web? Is this a special kind of village that I'm not aware of? Oh, that's creepy. Let's see. Well, hello there. Are you stuck? Looks like you are. See, it's basically only have uh, zombie villagers. You know what? I'm okay with this. This is better than just having a regular village. Hmm, I wonder when they added this as an update. I'm really not familiar with uh, this. sword. I will be making my home in here. There we go. Actually, no need for setting a spawn point. Uh, can't really respawn. Figure out all the zombies. Firewoods might be useful as a defense. Can I like squeeze by? I can. And here we are, up here. Okay. Well, I ha now have my own official house. So that's cool. Over here. Let me get the stick from that. That's supposed to be possible. So that's cool. Oh, and it's gone. Free button, I guess. It's gonna be up here. More spider webs. Bread will be nice. Gold. I can make a gold pick if I wanted to. I have a little bit of iron. I'm gonna try not to do that though. Now, I usually don't worry too much about farming and replanting things, but I think that in a hard 
mode desert survival world it's a lot more important so i'm just gonna go ahead and get right to that uh, right food seeds beetroot are nice they're not obviously not the greatest food source but a food source is a food source to have shears but I guess I can do this by hand this will make a lot more bread for me which is appreciable definitely Let's see. I see the zombie in there Really, why is it randomly being set on fire and then going out? I'm not gonna be able to make that jump. I'll just break the uh, the web. I know I could make an iron sword now, but I'd rather save the iron for pickaxe. Uh, normally I w wouldn't make an iron pickaxe, but in, again, this is hardcore desert survival. Being able to dig with the iron pickaxe is just too much of an advantage to pass up. There's that. There's that. And there's those. Um, I don't need to kill all the zombies. I could leave this one. I'll call him Chuck. See you later, Chuck. Let's see. This is a fairly decent sized village. Even if it is uh, full of zombies. I could, make, I, could, I could make shears right now. I think it might be a waste of time if I'm honest, but it's interesting to know that that's an option. Sword would definitely speed up this process. <sighs> okay. For now, I will use my wheat as a. Well, I don't need to do that. I can probably make this jump. After the cobweb is gone, obviously. Ah, fingers are placed weird. There we go. A lot more wheat, a little bit more bread, a few cactuses, and some emeralds. Emeralds probably won't come in handy since I've only got access to zombie villagers and not actual villagers. But, uh,. I'll see what I can do with what I have. Just because I don't have regular villagers right now doesn't mean I never will, after all. Uh, well, I gotta make sure I get my bearings. I think I came from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I know where I'm at. Here's some more wheat. I should probably grab that now. probably mark which way I came from. I guess that's what I'll use this for. There we go. That tells me that those are the houses that I'm going to be living in over there in that direction. What I call the zombie? Bob? Ted? Yeah, whatever. This is like a, looks like a, this would be, bleh. 
this looks like it would have been a very nice house to have, but uh, fortunately, the residents seem to have gotten a bit, little bit uh, sick. This is what happens when you uh, don't quarantine yourself. You know, really, it's their fault. This whole village, if they had just uh, done a, had a, done a better job of uh, quarantining themselves, that this would never have happened. It only takes one, really. Huh. Now, uh, I'm not joined with Floof again. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't have time to ask about it. I didn't really check so many of my messages. Um, I haven't had time to speak with anyone. So, for once, it's, I'm kind of alone. No one joining me. Uh, next time, I will definitely be sure to plan ahead a bit better. I think the sun's starting to go down. Oh, this one has a couple zombies. Huh. Now, I might not be able to sleep the night for obvious reasons. That being, there's zombies everywhere. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. To a house that I know is cleared out. Ah, that's not a house. Oh. Ah, crap. Getting stuck in cobwebs is the worst. Ah, here we go. I don't want the zombies to leave the houses before, uh. before I clear them out. See, that one there, over there, tried. Technically, it's kind of a good thing he got out and then... Uh, okay, I'll just let him burn. Then it came day, because that way he gets to take a little bit of fire damage. It'll be a bit easier to clear him out. More wheat, more bread, more cactus. I like the cacti. Useful. And I actually have a smoker, which is like, good. Still need some stone. Or not. Wait, what am I talking about? Brain just did an absolute collapse. That's great. Is this the same building as before? Yes. Yeah. Ah, well. Okay, what's left? Was, there's the couple right there. Call them the Zoms, maybe? Yeah. Talk about it, man. Is that all the houses? That might be all the houses. Kind of a weird plural house. Houses. Hmm. Oh. Ah, I heard a cat somewhere. Oh, it's in the web. That's a little sad. Unfortunately, there was no more iron, so I will actually have to make a gold pick. Actually, did any of the houses even have a... God damn it, they should know that I'm streaming right now. Uh, I don't think any of the houses had a crafting table. A little unfortunate. These are actually amazing in a hardcore desert survival because aside from the dirt you get from these, I'm not going to take the dirt from over there since that's not in the desert. Uh, the only dirt you can access is either under the ground or through making it in here. So that's really the only way to expand your farm. I can't believe there's literally no, uh, no crafting tables though. Okay, 
So what am I gonna do? I obviously can't gather those that wood over there. I have to f either find wood from like a shipwreck or dig into the ground with like my bare hand or a, or a stick technically, but it doesn't modify the mining speed. And hope that I find myself a uh, mine shaft with, that I can get wood from. I don't know if the sugar cane is fair game, honestly. Because would this sugar cane be here if this was a truly, if this was truly an all desert biome? I'm gonna say no. I don't think I can get sugar cane unless it's. That's an interesting little spawn. Look at this. Is this? Oh, it's not quite like perfect symmetry, but what a weird little island to spawn. Why am I not going up there? A little floaty island. It's, looks like a cave there. If I can find a cave that'll connect to a mine shaft or something, that would be a oh, little bit of lag. Much better than having to dig through rock with my bare fist, just because time. I don't want to have to spend half a year just trying to mine out every single stone. Uh, this doesn't look like a cave. But again, what an interesting uh, little, like, uh, way for the world to spawn. Oh, there is a temple over there. Uh, I'm probably not going to find any tools in it. But it does warrant search. I have to remember, the village is over there. In the... I think it's left of the direction the that the temple is facing. Yeah, I think that's right. Here we go. It's a shame that again I have to use a seed because and not just specify the in the world generating algorithm that I don't want in other biomes because just about any seed you find online is going to be Wow, look at this seed I found that has stuff. Do I have any block? I should probably grab uh, some blocks of sand before I go down. Let's see, how deep do they go? I'll just grab, like, I don't know, half a stack. What the? Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, if you, if I go to check my inventory and take a moment, it's because I've been playing a lot of scrap mechanic, which the inventory is actually the, uh, is actually I, not E. Oh, what the hell? It's already been exploded. Oh, that sucks. I guess a mob spawned in there and just set it off or something. That that's really I'm glad I didn't I didn't I'm glad I didn't do that speedrunner thing where you stand on top of the block you're digging. Never mind straight down, kids. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself if I keep chasing after rabbits, but they look like they're standing still. Might as well get the meat. Uh, I'm gonna head back towards the village again. Get 
some more sticks on the way. Um, yeah, this is hard. This is harsh. I forgot how uh, bad it is to start when you don't have a bonus chest. Oh look, a little well. Uh, are there things in wells? I honestly can't remember anything about anything. I, I'm thinking probably not. Hmm. Village was put together a, quite a waste in the well, wasn't it? Hmm. I think normally towns are built around water sources. Ah, well. Well, I guess uh, we have to look at our choices. I'm going to say it's okay to look for an abandoned ship, even though it's not desert. Uh, in part, in large part because I was cheesed out of my bonus chest. Um... some fish. We could probably kill these for our food. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna hope that I'll be fine to stay like out and about. Oh wait, can't I feed dolphins fish? Pretty sure I can. And then they'll just take me to a uh, thing. Hey, dolphin. Dolphin? You. You're the chosen dolphin. This way, huh? Man, you're fast. Uh, dolphin? Dolphin? Where is it? I can't just... I don't see the wreck. A strange again there's a lot of strange um, things like the straight line and I don't know something feels odd about the uh, sandstone that's there I don't know what exactly it is it makes me uneasy obviously all the uh, undead that are just around do not help. Ah. Oh, I was drowning. <laughs> I remember a time where just being in the ocean was like the safest thing you could do. Hmm. I'm good. The longer I'm over here, the more zombies are gonna be by the spot. when you are in definite need of a shipwreck and the dolphins just troll you.
people, I think it's easy to overlook the uh, importance of the crafting table. I think a lot of people would ask, hey, if you were to, if you could only have like one tool, one blo one singular block, you're gonna start off in a game. A lot of people wouldn't say crafting table or you. I guess like a any wooden log would also work for that purpose, but you know I think a lot of people overlook even that. They might even say something like a block of iron, but without a crafting table, that iron is nothing but iron. No more fish are coming up to... Oh, here's this little guy. If it comes a little bit higher, that one just spawned. I'm waiting for fish to come close to the island so that I don't need to go too far out to get them. Like that. Because if I have to go too far out and start getting chased by zombies, I don't want to bring them back to my only safe space. Let's see. It started around 1.30 today so I'm gonna try and play until 2.30 does that seem uh, fair? I think that seems fair I also don't want to do too much sprinting I don't have a stable food source yet well I do technically over at the village but that's I'm currently trying to get wood from a ship wreckage which isn't gonna be easy because even once I find the ship I'm gonna have to break the block and since they're usually pretty deep under the water, uh, I'll, I'll only be able to get like one block at a time if I don't want to die from drowning. I'll also just end the video if at any time I die, since that'll be the end of the world, literally. I will delete the world when that happens. But, um, hopefully it won't come to that. Hmm. Nothing looks very promising under the water. I see a lot of like the glowing lichen stuff. Oh, that guy's coming a little close. I don't even know if you guys can see this, uh, since it's under the water. But um, yeah, I can, I can see stuff under the water. Probably easier for you guys when I'm under the water, but it's harder for me when I'm under the water because it's darker. Oh, that's a skeleton. Oh, hello there. That skeleton has like almost full gold. That skeleton has literal, literally full gold armor. Fuck. This might be it. You do not want to let yourself get distracted for this exact reason. Luckily, none of them looked like they had, like, a trident. Normally, I would want one to have a trident so that I could kill it and hopefully get it for myself, but, um, I don't have the means to kill them right now. <sighs> There's a cow and a sheep over there. With a skeleton. Isn't great. Don't want anything spawning on my island here. Unfortunately, they're spawning near enough that I think, yeah, that one noticed me. It's coming right for me now. Once he gets to the island, I'm gonna turn around and start running. And by to me, I just mean like once he gets on land. Unless, can the... Those ones not swim? Huh. Why no? Stand out here all night. Till the sun comes up. 
then I have to decide whether I go back to land where I know there's no where fewer mobs will be waiting for me or to continue looking for a ship honestly I still need the ship the ship is how I'm gonna get my wood it's rough I'm just gonna go a ways in that direction and then he possibly head back oh sun's coming back up okay let's start going out I guess Hopefully I'll either find a ship or a dolphin will be kind enough to actually lead me to one. Oh, that one's- that is on the Triton. want to stay away from that as much as possible. Hmm. Hardcore desert survival, but I'm in the middle of the ocean. There's a boat. Okay. Hopefully I can get... Uh, crap, the boat doesn't seem to have any... Uh, logs. At least none that I can see off my initial looking. Come on, break already. That's one block. died. That one block of wood. Gotta let my health go all the way back up before I try again. Whew. So hopefully you guys can see now what I mean by this is a really hard way to play the game. I saw the chest in there, but obviously, uh, it'll be a bit, there is a, ah, don't want to go down yet. There is a log, though. If I had just gone that, if I had seen that log and gotten that first, I wouldn't need to wait right now. Hello there, fish. This fish being so difficult. There we go. You gotta be careful with dolphins around because they will fuck you up. Uh, I want. I'll wait until I have full health. I'm getting a little bit impatient. I'm actually gonna eat this one more piece of uh, bread, even though it's kind of a waste. Because I do not want to uh, have to worry about that. Come on. I heard a thing that's worrying. Break. Break. Ah, fuck. I think something just hit me. Uh, I was able to get up faster. Ah, yeah. There's the fucker. Now I learned you do not want to be underneath. You do not want these guys to be underneath you, because you can't hit them back when you are left. Ah, fuck. Another one. I'm gonna have to leave and come back once they despawn. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I almost had that wood piece, too. There is technically another thing I could do. I'm actually starting to go consider it now, but it's going to take a lot of uh, sand to do it. I don't know how many stacks I'll need. I'm not a amazing uh, Minecraft player. But I am a smart player. So for the things that I know I'm not able to do, I know how to get around them. I don't 
don't know if anyone's gonna be able to guess what it is that I want to do, but uh... Well, let's see how far I can get with just the 64. This one's coming up to say hi. Go away. Oh, they're actually listening. What do you know? Probably because I'm above the water now. I did see the ship. So I might actually be able to make it there now. Where do I hit? Uh, still got further to go. Quite a while to go, in fact. 12, 5. So even after this, I will still need to go back and get another stack of sand. Possibly more. Probably more. It's probably going to be about two or three stacks of sand that I need. That's not even for getting over there. That's just, uh, well, you'll see what my plan is. So let me make this a bit easier to get up and down while I'm collecting sand. Sand is possibly the worst block to use for construction purposes, because I guess more specifically I'm thinking of sandstone, but because uh, it's four blocks of sand to get one block of sandstone, which means you need four stacks of sand to get one stack of sandstone. To be fair, underneath most sand areas uh, you can find plenty of sandstone that you can mine up with your pick but right now I don't even have a pick so I need to get enough sand sand to make enough sandstone to get over there that's how annoying sand is to work with, which is why it's desert survival and not, like, ocean survival. Although ocean survival, I don't really know what that would mean, even. I get so impatient. I, like, I want to, like, go and s s see how far I can get with this, but I already know it's not going to get anywhere from there. So I just need to keep going, flying out this little uh, 
sandy what I call this is this separate from that or is this like a little peninsula I'm gonna say it's probably a peninsula because I'm too lazy to run over there and check or not so much lazy but I don't want to waste the time to go and check when I still need to collect so much more sand it looks like it's connected and that's good enough for me I'm not even uh, exploring the caves and caverns part of the world yet, which is funny because it's kind of what prompted me to want to do this again. Uh, okay. I don't think I need a, the full 64. Okay, I'm going to give into my impatience once more to see if 10 blocks will be enough to get me over the uh, boat. Which again, I know it's not, but I want to get over there as quickly as I can. Some people would even say as soon as possible. <sighs> How much further? It's probably like another stack's worth. Well, while I'm over here, I might as well make 16 more blocks to get over there. go got a nice little groove going uh, I can actually start to make out the shape of it but again it's getting dark out not really ideal if I'm honest whoo Push this back now. And now someone is home. And I'm gonna have a barking dog. Who, one second. I can't really afford to do this because this is hardcore and I don't know if someone's gonna, some mob's gonna show up to kill me, but I had to do that to get the dog out. So much sand, just for a little bit of a block to build with. So this is a little cha challenge that I did a while ago. Um, I think I already mentioned that, but actually back then I didn't even have mine Minecraft on my computer. At the time, Minecraft was just something I had on. Bold enchanted gold armor. Christ. Did he see me? Looks like he had seen me. Um. Whatever. But at the time, I just had it on my phone. So I was only playing PE. Minecraft Pocket Edition. I think technically it's the same version now. It's the same as Bedrock, but I don't know. Can't say that for sure. God, I need a crafting table. I don't want to knock him too far back. Oh, great, copper. That'll get me far. You know what? I'm going to use a spruce wood as a building block as well, actually. And, uh, while I'm terraforming this island, I should probably set up a few defenses. Very basic defenses, to be fair, but defenses. Something to make it just a little bit harder for them to come up here. I can put this here. The next one will go there. A little bit of lag going on. All of a sudden. Don't know what's caused that. There we go. That was weird. Don't want to see that happen again. What's that? 
It's like unplaced. be too close to the water's edge, but I think things are safe here. Well, that'd be all the way out there. Okay, getting back up. Oh, this is probably the safest part of this right now, since yeah, that was it. There's another one. That's nice. Uh, okay. And that's an example of why we need defenses. I should probably do make this in a little bit deeper so I can double up the cacti over here. This also kind of serves as a cactus farm. So, dual purpose. I'm actually thinking I overestimate how much sand I need. I think 16 more ought to do it. But I still need a lot more sand for the next part after I get actually get over there. You see, um, the problem is that I keep drowning. But there is actually a way to remove the water before I get down there and make it breathable air using nothing but sand. Or you could also use gravel, but you know, right now I, all I have is sand and honestly gravel is a bit more annoying to work with. Because you never know when it's going to turn into a uh, flint. Oh well. How much is that now? A little over a stack? I don't think that'll be enough. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Actually, that would be nice to have. Give that to me. I want it. Let me have it. Here, get over there so I can knock it towards the cactus. Ah. I felt something behind me. That was weird. It looked like he was swimming on the air. Coming back up. What's he doing now? I don't think he dropped it. Yeah, no, it's just rotten flesh. Okay, let me heal up a bit. Okay. Well, gotta push this back now. keep doing that. I'm going to go, how much sand do I have? I'm going to open my inventory. Not enough sand. I'm going to grab like like 10 blocks and go, how much sand do I have? Even though I'll most definitely still not have enough. Now I'm actually going to want to try and get directly above the block that I want to get.
a little upsetting that I can't keep this island as natural looking as it was before. But I can't, I, I can't really afford that luxury with this kind of a world. I feel like it's been night forever. almost too stacked. Yeah, it's probably not fine, but I'm getting tired of waiting. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just gonna run and they shouldn't follow me because I'm above the water. Unless one of them had a helmet, I didn't clearly see. One of them looked like they had a chest plate. Scary stuff. So let's see. Again, sorry about the background noise. I recently got some noise canceling foam to try and minimize that. But, uh,. Only so much I can do. I think I need to be here, over this block, this area. Now I just gotta go straight. Two, one, zero. How far away am I from the block I want? Uh, will this do it? You know, I think this actually will do it. Oh, this might be a problem. And again, maybe it won't be. Let's see. So, some of you who have not figured it out yet are probably wondering what this trick is. It's mostly just placing sand like that. In fact, I knew it. I knew it would be a problem. Which honestly makes this whole thing self-defeating, since it takes just as long to break that block as it does to break the other one. Which means I just wasted a lot of time. Story of my life. Ah well. Could be worse. Come on. There we go. Finally, I have a block I have a block of wood. And I can make a crafting table. I'm gonna try and get back to the village now. Now that I have my crafting table. Because I can finally make tools after all this. I could try making like getting that coal. I don't think it's really worth it. Ugh, armor. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I probably should get all that uh, cactus back, but honestly, there's so much cactus already. It's the desert biome that uh, I don't really care for it. I can just go grab some more. I'll make a farm later. Right now, it's completely unnecessary. There we go. And it's raining, which is great. Skeletons won't. Oh, yeah. God. My favorite part about the desert is that uh, it never rains unless you're too close to uh, water. Because then, technically, I think it's like a beach biome, almost. But this desert village should be far away enough that it shouldn't be raining. Yeah, so skeletons beware. Okay, there's my uh, cactus back. I might as well use this 
sand to patch up the buildings. Although I'm gonna wait until I make myself some cobblestone tools before I really do that. Make this my, uh, oh, I kinda, I kinda want this to be my official house. The underground area is kinda cool. So yeah, this will be my official location. Now I'll put that there. Ah, I forgot to equip that other armor that I just got. It's not much, but hey, it can save my life in theory. Kind of hurts to start off with a gold pick. It's not bad though, because in actuality, gold pick, gold tools, I believe, dig faster than other material. It's just that they can't collect the same stuff as, like, iron. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just store, I guess, that in there. I can also make all this wheat into bread now. Ah, shit. I forgot to pick up all that other I forgot to pick up all my wheat. It's fine, though. Everything's fine. Where was that? Wasn't that a... I'm, I'm gonna get lost for a while because I... I brain just isn't gonna remember where anything is. Eventually, I'll get used to this location. Let's eat some more bread. And then figure out where we want to make a mine. Um. God damn it. Let's do that. I like making buildings into different buildings. So there's this. Right now it's like a little baker. I kind of like there being a baker's though. Bakery. I guess let's turn this place into a mine shaft. Yeah. We'll expand it out that way when we get around to it. Like that. I'm starting to go down. Sand is so annoying to work around. Yeah, because I'm going to have to break this and every block of sand above it. At least it lets a little bit of light down. Now, normally I like to make even my mind's a lot more aesthetic, but again, I just cannot afford that. And as you can see from the uh, durability of the pick, it's already broken. But that's okay, because it got me exactly what I needed. A little bit more uh, stone. Or a little bit of stone. Not more stone. It's the only stone I got. But that's honestly all I need. Now, here's another thing. If I happen to find a sapling somehow, I'm not allowed to plant it for more wood. It just isn't allowed. One, two, and two. Probably should have waited on... Uh, opening the map that first time. But oh well. Let's see, was there a chest in here? There was. I'll start storing everything up here. Uh, let me get one more stick, at least. There we go. Then. Anyway. 
three six just so I can make a sword to deal with all these cobwebs there we go now I don't want to get rid of all the cobwebs just the ones that are particularly annoying like this guy right here no need for that to be there Uh, that one's a little annoying. Gotta get rid of that. And... Yeah. It's too dirty already. My gut. Uh... I guess I'll have to end it here. This is the beginning of possibly the hardest... Uh, way of playing the game. I honestly don't think I've seen any more difficult kind of uh, gameplay. You might disagree. If you do, let me know. Until next time, thank you for joining.